Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Sam Wright. I'm Brian Allen. With Minnesota most recently deciding to adopt a new flag, the discussion over South Dakota's current state flag is heating up once again. That's a talking point in Pier today with a South Dakota state flag commission a possibility. Cooper Seamer joining us with a State House 2024 top story report. Cooper. Yeah, Brian and Sam, South Dakota's current state flag is the third official flag in the state's history. That last update came in 1992 when the words the Mount Rushmore state was added to the flag. Some are arguing though that it could be time to make another change, this time to set it apart from the rest. With the attention and opinions that Minnesota saw with its state flag redesign, it's not hard to see how the discussion over South Dakota's current flag only ramped up headed into this legislative session. Senate Bill 113 would create a commission firstly to review the state's current flag and then decide if a new one is needed to better represent South Dakota. That recommendation might be our flag is just fine, we should leave it the way it was. Maybe they'd come forward with a design or two or three designs and leave a, a process for the legislature to evaluate that. According to the North American Vexillology Association, vexillology being the study of flags, there are five principles on what makes a memorable flag. Those are use simple designs, use meaningful symbols, use two or three basic colors, don't use lettering or seals, and avoid copying other designs but still draw parallels to others. Proponents of the bill say South Dakota's current flag fails most of these principles and many outside the state couldn't tell the flag from others when lined up next to each other. People from all over the United States should recognize our flag as many people recognize the flag of Texas or Colorado, Arizona, or even New Mexico. They argue a redesign could better serve South Dakota's tourism and recognition across the United States. Even if the decision from the would-be committee is to keep the current state flag, those proponents say some new language in the state's flag code is needed to better make sure the current flag is consistent. The sun's rays are always a different shape and there's always a different number. The background color can vary wildly between various shades of dark and light blue. The font changes from flag to flag. But the bill was instead deferred to the 41st legislative day on a vote of 5-3, to three, with opponents arguing that changes aren't needed. I don't see a particular need to change it other than it could be better. Just because it could be better doesn't mean we should go through the process of changing our flag. I think it serves uh, its purpose well. And the state shouldn't change things just to use it as a marketing opportunity. I just don't feel ready to move to um, modernize our flag just for reasons of um, PR necessarily. Now, Nesba told the South Dakota Broadcasters Association after the bill's defeat that even though it wasn't the outcome that he and others were hoping for, he's optimistic about the direction of the conversation of reviewing the state flag. 